Hi, Jamie Davis here from the Nursing Show here at NTI 2016 in New Orleans, and we're talking all about the Clinical Scene Investigator Academy program, and I have Nancy De La Salle here to talk a little bit about your process and what you guys looked at in your facility. But before we get to that, can you tell us just a little bit about your background and why you wanted to become a nurse? Sure. Um, I've always wanted to be a nurse. I don't know why, but ever since I was little, I've always wanted to be a nurse. Uh, I've been a critical care nurse for 29 years, and to this day, still love it and still enjoy what I do. Excellent. So you were a graduate of the Clinical Scene Investigator Academy, the CSI Academy that AACN puts on. Um, why don't you tell us about your experience and your, what, what spurred you to participate in the program? Uh, we were given a grant from the CSI Academy our director asked four of us to join it. We already started a program for early mobilization. The CSI Academy helped us to facilitate and to give us the tools to help us to educate the nurses. So, so when you look at this program and what you guys did, you looked at early mobilization, is that correct? Yes, we started early mobilization with a vented patient and with um, this, the tools that they gave us, we've actually have uh, bridged out to every single patient that's been in the ICU. We started with um, just dangling at the bedside. We now get them up at the um, day one of being intubated and start walking them as soon as they meet certain criteria. So what kind of patient outcomes did you see come out the other end of this when you started this program and, and really began implementing it? Um, there's definitely less vent days that the patients are there, and the length of stay in the ICU has gone down. So that's significant, and not just for the patient as far as them individually, but as cost savings to both them and the, and the hospital. Um, that, that really is significant, isn't it? Yeah, it was a big, big savings. We um, estimated at the time, and it was proven that uh, it cost, um, it saved us over a million dollars in vent days in six months. So as we kind of wrap up here, what, do you, what advice do you give to uh, some of those new nurses out there or maybe a nurse that's, that's looking at trying to work on developing their leadership skills? Um, what advice would you give to them on the importance of cultivating leadership skills as a bedside nurse? Um, I think it's very important to have leadership skills. Uh, the CSI Academy is a great way to develop them. They give you the tools to do that. Um, I would suggest to the nurses to see if they could join some of their um, evidence-based practice. Um, if they have that in their hospital, join some of the associations. Start off with your local social, so, excuse me, association, yep. Yep. and then go to the American Association, the other associations, so they have the empowerment to do what they would like to do and the resources. Well, Nancy, thank you so much for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank all of you for checking out this segment here from NTI 2016. Remember, all the segments that we've shot here are available for you over at the site, nursingshow.com.